Hello everybody. In this demo I'm going to introduce software with the name of the multi-suite. Firstly I click to the multi-suite. Multi-suite cap is a living structure steel and a concrete solution that we can generate steel drawing and uh, concrete draw. In the setup, I click to the metric. If you want, you can choose imperial, feet and inches, or metric. Then I click to the OK. We have a multi-suite drawing setup entitled block size. I'm uh, choosing A1, and the drawing scale will be 120, and the title block style is bored. Then I click to OK. We have the edit attributes. We can fill up the, uh, the, uh, I mean, the project number, drawing number, revision, flying name, driving the status, driving title, then click OK. Before starting, I erase board. I want to create a, a grid. I click to the Line grid. In grid finder, I add demo. So we can see we have a spacing for front and for the right. And if you want to see in a 3D, we have an elevation. Then I click to the OK. Then you can see I created a grid line in 2D. If I type SV in the command line, I can see from different view, from set view, from right and from the left. Then I click SV. You can see I have a 3D view. Then you can see I type SV then I'm going to the top view, which is the plan. Then I want to add the drawing step. In command line, I add DS. So we have a draw still. We have a different method to add the still. We have a different shape of the section. Also, in database, we can refer to the different code. And if we want to add our section, we can modify from here. I click to the OK. I want to add the column, so I change it to the UC. Then I add the font of the column. I'm choosing size of 305 times 305 minus 7. Then the representation is in 2D and justification central, rotation top view and group still. Then I click okay. I click to the grid, then I add. I have to choose end views. Click OK. You can see I can rotate around the grid. Then if I want to do the rotation, I type A in the command line. Then if I want to add to the whole structure, I'm going to the add to plan. Then I click add, then I click OK. The rotation is zero. Okay. You can see the color added to the grid. Then after that, I want to add the beam. I'm choosing universal beam. I choose the end views. Then I'm choosing the form member. Form member it means that you all the beam it's the same. And you can draw in a member. Member it's uh, like this one. If you want to draw from this span to this span, it's member. But the difference is if you choose form.
we will be at automatically. And you can see the connection is not correct, so we have to cut it back. So I'm using the cut back. and the beam face with the flat and I'm choosing again for all the connection then I click OK so you can see the connection right now is correct so if I want to add the second ribbon I change it to the stick we have a 2D stick that we can change from 2D to stick okay, you can see it's like a stick then I add line then I get the copy so again I add the second ruby to this size one five two times eighty nine times sixteen which is four then I change to a stick to two D If I want to get the connection for beam to beam connection, I'm using March 7. I highlight the beam, then I choose the right side, and you can see the connection. If I want to see in a 3D view, I have this view, then I change it to 3D. Then from the 3D view, we have a 3D and we have a 3D, uh, 3D to uh, stick or we can say show stick. I'm choosing 3D. I highlight this part. So this part. If I want to see in a shape view, I can click to the shape view. I type orbit. And you can see the connection. So I change it to the plan view. Then I want to get the connection. Um, I mean uh, the drawing. So I type MDE. I can also get the CNC output. So I'm choosing OK. Then I highlight the beam from the both side. Then I add here. And you can see the connection from here. And you can see the wall, the size of the wall. And uh, if you want to get the beam to column connection from each side, also we can get the connection by clicking to the connection. We have a different type of the connection. We have angle, cleat, end plate, and simple. Simple. I'm choosing the end plate. Click to the OK. I'm choosing to the select. Select the color. Then I select the beam. Here we can uh, choose the number of the bolts on the plate. Choose the number five. Then uh, the bolt size M20. Then we have a vertical center and horizontal center. I leave it uh, to be in the same size. Then I click OK. The end plate thickness, vertical dimension and horizontal dimension. Then I click OK. Then I put it here. And you can see the connection. If I want to get the uh, front view, I'm going to the front view. Then I click to the next view, 
by choosing the magenta, then we have a front view. If I want to get the top view, okay, I click the next view. Again, I'm choosing magenta. Then we have a top view. If I want to change the axis, which is the point, I can click to the point and I'm changing to the point. If I want to see the whole structure in 3D, I'm choosing 3D, then I highlight the whole structure. change to the shape and you can see the continuous orbit it's rotate automatically then I click to the set view then I click to the front left Thank you very much for your attention to my demo.